This video will introduce convenient functions that make Mitsubishi Electric FA equipment products easier to use. In this video, we will briefly introduce convenient points of MX Sheet. I would like to monitor or write PLC data without using an engineering tool, but issuing communication commands with VBA or other methods seems difficult. MX Sheet is the solution for these requirements. By performing settings using MX component, the communication environment can be easily constructed. MX Sheet realizes programmer's communication between PLC and Microsoft Excel. It enables monitoring or writing, etc., of PLC device data by just performing simple settings. In this video, a PLC CPU module R08 CPU and computer is connected with a USB cable. MX Sheet Write and Monitor Cell Settings will be performed and the procedure for communication with the PLC will be explained. To start, launch Excel and save the Excel workbook. When MX Sheet has been installed, the MX Sheet menu will be added to the Excel menu bar that you normally use. Various settings can be performed in Excel from MX Sheet. Let's perform write settings in cell C3. Select cell C3 and select MX Sheet in the menu and then cell setting. Next, let's perform the use settings. First, select write for the use setting then input the desired name for cell area name. In this video, we'll input the name write function. Next, click the access data tab. Perform access data settings. Select communication settings and when the utility screen appears, click yes. Next, Perform the communication settings using wizard. Input 1 for the logical station number. Select USB for the PC side IF. For the PLC side IF, select CPU module and then select R08 for the CPU type. Since the target CPU module will be directly connected by USB, there is no need to change the communication route. Attach a name to the communication settings that have been set until now. In this video, we'll input R08 CPU underscore USB. Select Finish. Click the Communication Test tab. Perform tests and check that communication is performed normally between Excel and the PLC. The communication test was executed normally. Select Exit in Communication Settings. Since the communication settings for the logical station number has been registered, open the pull down menu and select it. Input D0 for the device and 1 for the number of cells and click the Operation Interval tab. You can set the Operation Interval for communication with the PLC. In this video, we will leave it at the default setting of Regular Interval 5 seconds. Select Apply. Check that the setting details have been applied and click OK. This completes the right cell settings. Next, we will explain the monitor settings. In this video, we will change the D0 value using write function which we just set. Then, we will perform monitor settings for D0 to check that that value was applied to the PLC. Select cell E3 and select MX sheet in the menu. And then, cell setting. Next, perform the use settings. Select 
monitor for use. Input monitor function as the cell area name. Then click the access data tab. Perform access data settings. In the same way as was done for write settings, select the logical station number 1 R08CPU underscore USB from the pull down menu. Input D0 for the device and 1 for the number of cells and click the operation interval tab. As before, leave the operation interval at the default setting and select apply. Check that the setting details have been applied and click OK. This completes the monitor cell settings. Create buttons for communication with PLC. Position the cursor where you want to place the button and select MX Sheet in the menu. Then create button and then start communication button and place the button. Create the end communication button in the same way. Since Excel sheet settings have been completed, start communication with the PLC. Click the communication start button MX SHBTN START that was placed on the Excel sheet. Use a computer on which you can use GXWorks 3 for checking to perform the operation check. When 1 is input in C3 on the Excel sheet, 1 should be displayed for D0 in the GXWorks 3 monitor screen and 1 should be displayed in E3 on the Excel sheet. When 2 is input in C3 on the Excel sheet, 2 should be displayed for D0 in the GXWorks 3 monitor screen and 2 should be displayed in E3 on the Excel sheet. You can end communication with the PLC using communication end button MXSHBTNEND that was placed previously. By utilizing MX Sheet, you can perform operations on device data using only Excel which you normally use. As you can see, you can introduce it immediately even without programming knowledge about VBA, Visual Basics, etc. For details of functions and settings, check the related manuals at Mitsubishi Electric FA Global website. And that's all for introducing MX Sheet for simple communication with PLCs using Excel. Please be sure to try it!